Hi, I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a pattern from your favorite pair of booty shorts. It's really simple to do and it'll blow your mind how fun it is and fast. The items that you're going to need for this are a pair of shorts that you like the way they fit, some fabric um, that you don't need anymore, old sheets work perfect for this, or scraps that you'll never use again. You're going to need some scissors, some pins, um, some pens to write with, and then also uh, some sort of a measuring tape. Uh, this is a little big, uh, but a ruler will do because uh, you'll want to get the seam allowance. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take that pair of shorts, you're going to turn it inside out, and then fold it together so all the seams match up. I'm going to cut this little string away, put it in the trash, put it in the trash. Okay. So now we have the shorts so you can see the flow of the shorts and, and where they, the direction everything goes. Okay, so you're going to want to pin the seams, the back seam together so it doesn't get mixed up and twist it around and the same with the front seam. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your fabric. I always start a little further in, try and give myself plenty of room to move around. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to pin. Don't like that one. Pin the seams right there and mark them. Keep going up. You want to make sure that it doesn't move around. First thing we're going to do is, is make markings exactly where these shorts end. So we're going to go ahead and trace that line, trace this bottom part. Don't worry about seam allowance just yet. We'll do that later. But remember, stretchy fabric, if you're using a pair of booty shorts that stretch, you must use stretchy fabric. Otherwise, when you remake them, they will not fit. Now, because they're folded over and rolled over, what I'm going to do is move these pins in some so we can continue marking this and keep it secure. Go all the way to the edge. And then... Sometimes it's better not to move the pin until you know that it's really secure in the other spots. Now remember there's elastic on here, so we'll account for that later on. Be careful not to poke yourself when you're putting this through. And we'll continue with this. Now we can roll it and move it. Make sure those all match up like they're supposed to. Then pin it into place securely. And make sure and stretch this out. You have the gathers there, but you want to compensate for that. Now we can remove these pins. And remember, for your first try, don't use the fabric that you want. Use some scrap fabric. Use something else to create this. Pin this. Okay. Now we're on this side. Make sure that seam is all the way there. This will get you, make sure this is all flat the way it should be. Keep going. 
If you're using an overlock to recreate these shorts, then, or a serger, you're going to want to add a different seam than if you're sewing with a straight stitch. So usually you'll add a quarter of an inch for an overlock. Let's go ahead and unpin some of this. And a half an inch for straight stitch. Now here's a crucial thing. See how much that shrunk up, but we followed it along. So we want to make sure that when we stretch this, oops, still pinned on there. When we stretch out the elastic, that makes sense and it matches up. Okay. So I always will mark right on the pattern. Oops, looks like we missed a little here. So I know I can match that up and I know I can match that up. And we can continue. Okay, so there is our pattern without any changes made to it. Now, the next question is elastic. You wanna take, this elastic is already gathered up, so don't stretch it out, but you if you like the way it fits, then just go with that. So right here it says 11 inches, that means doubled up, it's 22 inches, but you wanna cross it over. So I would say if you make it 23 inches, mark right on the paper, or, or fabric, I put 23 inches because then you have a half an inch on each side to overlap. So now comes the crucial part. We have right here, we want to follow that line. It is a little over two inches, two and a quarter. So we're going to go three and a quarter. That'll give us three-fourths of an inch of a hemline. And you know what, let's mark that in a different color. Okay, so we'll go straight down to that. Now, three-fourths of an inch. Just keep going down, three-fourths of an inch. And I go ahead and do dots so I can basically collect, connect the lines when I'm sewing it. three-fourths of an inch, and then we're going to go here, three inches, so that way we know they'll match up. Went a little past there, but there you can see too if your crotch length on one side was off, because you need these seams to match up perfectly. Okay, so now up here we're going to use one inch elastic so we can get that by going right on that line and then connect the dots. Same here, connect that dot. Now, one more thing you're gonna need to do on the crotch part here. I'm gonna give a quarter of an inch. Let's make sure I have that right, yep. I can pretty much eyeball a quarter of an inch. I'm very good at that. Um, but if you're not, then go ahead, use a ruler, or cut a piece of paper the right size. But remember to mark on your shorts where that line is, then that way you won't have a problem. So now on this, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And when you cut, just keep that scissors falling along that line. That way it'll keep, if you made a little mistake and have a bump, you will have it perfect when you actually cut out your pattern. And then keep following that. If you see maybe you're off a little quarter of an inch um, or you're half inch for the regular, adjust it when you're cutting it. And just keep going. Make sure that you pick elastic that is about the same stretchiness, softness. Make sure that you don't pick a really stiff hard one when your shorts are a soft one. And just keep going along. Remember to connect those dots there. Then the next thing you'll want to do is take this and match it up. Now, 
I ended up a little off on my measurement there. So I'm going to adjust it right here. And I see a little spot that sticks out, and we'll adjust that too. Let's get all this stuff out of the way so you can see it. And there you go. There is your pattern. Remember, when you cut this short, you don't cut two pieces like this. You'll need two pieces on top of each other, and you'll have a right and a left. So that, that will work as the right, and then the back side, that works as the left. So by cutting on top of each other, one facing up and one facing down, you'll get both sides of your short. And voila, now you've got a short pattern. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're gonna have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you wanna get our free, complete dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewearer.com slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video. And remember, be original, be colorful, bedancewear.com.